to do the rear differential service you'll want to first identify which rear differential you have there's two manufacturer options the AAM and the GM um, there's a couple distinguishing features on the flange and the pumpkin housing itself this one's an AAM um, and that makes a difference in which gasket uh, you order as well as the fluid that it will take so making sure I have the right uh, parts here first and the right rear differential identified and then next I'll begin by removing the fill plug just to kind of get an uh, idea of the current level and condition of the fluid and it actually looks pretty good at 42,000 miles a little bit of uh, gear fuzz which is normal but nothing to be concerned about and then using a 10 millimeter socket here to loosen up these uh, bolts that have thread locker on them once they're loose I'm zinging them off with a power tool and uh, keeping two of them in up high uh, to not make a big mess and let the pan drop too early letting it drain and then removing the cover completely and then to get the grime out of the bottom where most of that uh, you know any filth or, or fuzz is going to kind of settle um, I'm flushing it out with a little bit of fresh engine oil here and my hand to kind of clean out the bottom wiping up the sill surface area and then cleaning off the pan with some uh, brake clean which is just a solvent degreaser and then some soap and water to clean it off even further and then dry it off with some air and some shop towels um, refreshing the thread locker on here you want to use a medium strength thread locker uh, blue on this and then set the gasket in place get a couple of bolts started with the cover going back on get the remaining bolts started and then uh, zing them in with a hand tool or a power tool on a light torque setting uh, in kind of a zigzag, zigzag pattern and then go around and torque them to spec in that same zigzag pattern on um, the AAM you'll do 15 foot pounds and then a final 20 degree sweep all the way around um, on the GM it calls for 30 foot pounds Fluid type and capacity uh, vary slightly for the AAM and GM, both the 75W85, and calling for about 2.6 quarts in either differential. Uh, so you'll pump in two full bottles and then about a half of the next one, and then you'll kind of slowly take your time on the final uh, half quart to get the level set right. You want to be slightly below the fill hole approximately a half inch to three quarters of an inch so the room ha the fluid has room to expand as it warms up uh, without causing cavitation from the gear movement inside so I do a check here and then I'm gonna add just a little bit more uh, to bring it up to where I want it and again on the AAM it says anywhere from 0.6 basically to uh, a little over one and a half inches below the fill hole the final step is torquing the fill plug to 24 or 30 foot pounds and uh, clean it up make sure everything looks right and I hope you found this useful I appreciate watching I hope you like and subscribe